I started my own pre-workout business and despite it being the best decision of my life, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. With a crazy amount of sales and support, I have made so many mistakes along the way, and sometimes it even got too much for me to handle. Sorry, um, I can't remember the last time I cried. And in this video, I want to take you through all of the mistakes that we've made, even including some of the most outrageously stupid shit you would never miss yourself. Okay, so I fucked up, and I wasn't going to tell anybody about the problems with this pre-workout, but it's time because we fixed everything, and it's going to be all good. So, here are the issues with my pre-workout. I'm going to tell you about them throughout my day. The first issue isn't really too major, but it's the serving size that's stated on the tub. The serving size says 13.5 grams, but after manufacturing, I was told that the serving size is actually 15 grams. So this is off by 1.5 grams. Good thing it's less, not more, because if it was more, then you'd be taking more than you should, which would end up with you having too many stims. So it's good, but that's a mistake that I made when making the tub. And I'm sorry, but it's fixed in the next batch. You'll be fine. I've got some pre-workout here. I need to shave my face. I need to get ready to leave for the gym. I'll see you in literally 1.5 seconds. All right, I'm all clean. Do I look nice? Cheers, bro. If you're new to the channel, by the way, you should probably subscribe because I know about 40% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed and it's just not good for my ego. You should also like the video. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's really good, actually. I think you should definitely 100% like and even subscribe to the YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the training portion of the video. I need you to let me know whether you want me to talk over the footage where I train, or do you want music, or do you want some sick edits? I can't have more clips because YouTube's copyright system is just going to fuck me up. The music in the gym is copyrighted, so I can't do that. But if you want edits, you want to just talk over it, what would you like? Okay? Just let me know. Get into it. Bench press. First thing on the agenda. Warming up. As I always do. With the bar. Loads of reps. 20, 30. Just a fuck to reps. Just to like... You know, you just go in the gym, you want to get in the groove of how things are moving. You want to get things warm. And then I slowly warm up. I go up in 20 kilo increments, like I said before. So in 10 kilos in the bar each time. Even though my bench is like 160, I do actually do 40 kilos of warm up. 60, 80, go up to 100. As I go up in weight, I decrease the amount of reps. So like the bar is like 20, 30 reps. Then 40 is like 12, 15. 60 is like 10. 80 would be like 5, 8, and then 100 is like 1 to 3, and then I just go up in like 1 to 3, so depending on how warm I'm feeling. I'm also feeling pretty warm this day, as you fucking see. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Fucking lovely. 120, and then into the top set, which was 142. You can see I'm setting up here. When I set up, I really, I really want you to think about it. Like, Squeezing the fuck out of the bar. Like, the grip that you have on the bar is extremely important. So, like, the harder you can grip the bar, the harder you're going to be able to press. Like, you know it sounds a little bit like bro science or a bit silly, but there is like a radiation effect. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but that's exactly what it is. So, if you can squeeze the bar harder, you're going to be able to press stronger. Does that make sense? And then as I go down, like, you will actively like row the bar into my chest. I don't like just let it drop on my chest, I like, actually row it in, even though the gravity is pushing it down. I'm like actively trying to row it in, activating my lats, um, leg driving towards my face. It all just like blows up the spring. Um, into sets of eight, which were 122. Today, it felt fucking free. I felt insane, like, like really good. And I've up my calories the last few days. I'm just like, I don't know if it's just placebo, but my training today just felt fucking insane, mate. So yeah, sets of eight, just moving, lovely. You can see a little bit of balance there in my arms. That's because I broke my left arm when I was 10, not up to weight. Here is the last set, which I usually take to failure because it's just fun and I don't, don't care whether it's optimal or not. I just like to push myself. I can't stop myself I'm just fucking going for it. So this is one, two, this is the fourth set, um, last set to failure. So I was getting hyped up there, getting really tight, and then I just fucking go for it. One, two. I think this set, I was in my head, I was going for it. 15. Oh, like 15 is just like the most outrageous number if I can get it. Um, I just got myself high class. I was playing some metal in my ears. Machine head, locust, if you want to know. Amazing song, guy. It gets fucking hyped. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Can you shut up, mate? I'm trying to, I'm trying to record. So yeah, I got 14 on that set into overhead press, um, which was set to eight. Had a little PR there. So that was uh, 72 and a half kilo PR. Moved really well again, yeah, just like. I feel so fucking strong today. Um, it was really, really good. Really, really good. When I bear press, I'm pretty much the same as bench press. I squeeze my abs and I like to like pull the bar into myself as I go down. So like, grab the top of the rep. As you go down, I'm like 
pulling with my lats as if I'm doing a pull up. Because uh, I'm overhead practice, like a reverse pull up. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It should make sense. In some chest flies, they're sort of like flat slash decline. It just feels the best. Like I feel like I get the best contraction in my chest. Like I don't need more decline work or flat work, but I just get a nice pump. And I'm not too fast about like bodybuilding and being so fucking optimal and all this. So just enjoy. It, makes, it feels good on my shoulder, it feels good on my chest. That's why I do it. If you prefer my, my uh, incline, like, uh, chest presses, it's like a chest press slash fly. Um, do those, definitely. Lateral raises, I did like sets of 30. Uh, I didn't go to failure. I tried to like keep it strict and just really in my side delt. If I do less reps, it just sort of goes away from my delt. And then try some extensions with a long rope. Or you can use two ropes if you want to spend 30 minutes looking for one at the gym. I just got one at the gym here, I'm not sponsored, they just gave me one. Um, but yeah, the long ropes are sick. You can actually like properly extend your elbows without having to be like crap like this. So yeah, that's the end of the workout training session. Love you. Session complete, my god. What a session! What a time to be alive. Hey, I increased my calories from 2,800 to about 3,300, 3,200 the past couple of days. Wow, it like feels so good to like have food in my stomach, like, and be like really just like full. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I, I feel the increase in calories. I hit fucking my bench today, 142 for a set of three. Easy. On my last set, I did max reps, 122 kilos for a set of 14. Are you kidding me? Everything just felt in the groove. Like I just felt so good. Ah! Anyways, let's get home. Let's talk about overdrive and more mistakes with the product. Because I fucked up. Like it, I, there's many, many issues, but with business, as it is with business, you make mistakes. It was my first time. You make mistakes, you make mistakes again, you learn, you do better. There's more to come. Let's go home. I'll talk, I'll tell you all about it. We're not quite at the worst problem yet. That's to come later, but this is a pretty big problem, right? So I designed the tub and I, I had a vision. I had a vision of like this pattern. We, me and my friend made this pattern that just looks so fucking epic. I thought it's gonna really stand out on the tub. It's just gonna look really cool. Like the pattern's gonna be really accentuate the look of the tub. And the thing is, I asked the manufacturer, I was like, how much is it gonna cost me to get a sample of the label so I can have it, test it and see before I buy all the tubs, um, how much is it gonna be? And he said to get a label because they have to set it up in a factory and they have to like re reroute the whole manufacturing system just to make one label just to make one sample it was gonna be about 800 pounds and I thought for 800 pounds it is not worth me getting one label well it's not that big of a deal because the pre-workout still looks great but I am slightly disappointed at the fact that the texture doesn't show up as good as it should see the camera is in focus but you can't really even see the texture on it but the texture should look like this this is a digital product and that's how it should look like, but it doesn't look like that. It looks very faint and I was quite disappointed. So in the next batch, we've redesigned the whole label. It looks like this and we've accentuated the label a lot. So now with the print, I am sure it's gonna come out exactly as I want it. But like I said, that just comes with practice, right? You make mistakes, you learn. Also the text up here, Chikara and the lemon is a little bit wonky looking. Like it doesn't look perfectly professional and amazing, but that's another problem we've had. We needed to increase the brightness on the texture just so it pops out more. The next issue on the label, you're gonna think I'm a fucking idiot, mate. It's massive. Like, I can't believe that we made the label and we just didn't see that problem. Like, it's just, like, we look back now and we're like, what are we doing? Me and my friend, right, he's my graphic designer. We work together on um, all the graphical stuff. I've got some experience with Photoshop. He's got like a uni degree and he's really good at what he does. Um, so I just chime in, do a little bit myself. He does a little bit himself. We bounce back and forth. I pay him, it's a great arrangement, but it's crazy how we just didn't see it. I'm gonna tell you all about it in a minute. I'm gonna grab some food. Yo, I'm back. It's late, I've had some food. I had spaghetti bolognese, thank you for asking. Now, into the biggest issue with this pre-workout, in my opinion. So we've had the texture being fucked up, we've had the serving size being wrong, and in my opinion, that's nothing in comparison to how easy and stupid me and my friend have been by just not proofreading enough, essentially. Like, it's just really silly. I'm gonna read out to you, I'm gonna see if you can tell where the problem is. So just listen, listen intently. Overdrive is a powerful stimulant pre-workout made for the hardest workouts. Mix one scoop, one gram, with 200 to 250 milliliters of cold water and consume 20 to 25 minutes before training. Did you spot the problem? Because I did, now I did, when the tubs are all printed and sold and gone. Mixed one scoop, 
one gram. Mix one scoop, one gram. Mix one scoop, one gram. Does that sound right to you? Because it doesn't sound right to me. Not only did you make the mistake with the serving size being 13.5 grams over here, on this side of the tub in the nutritional information, we've also just decided to just completely not read the label and put one gram on the tub. If you've got a tub of overdrive, at least you go have a look. It says one gram on it. I'm not lying, it's like every single tub is the same. The reason for this is, is because me and my friend, I've spent like day in, day out, we've had like so many different iterations of the tub. We've had enough. It might sound silly, but have you ever had like a project you've been working on for a long time, whether it's an essay, whether it's a fucking anything that you've just worked on again, and again and again and you've read it again and again and you just want to vomit every time you read the same thing that's basically what this was we've had enough of reading the blurb a hundred million times every time we would sit down to do it we would read again read again read again and miss it every single time apparently that is the biggest issue with the pre-workout in my opinion that really pisses me off because it's just just one up one letter one number like it's just not it's like not it's just not like great do you know what I mean? And those are the only issues I've had with the pre-workout. Like everything else is fantastic. The product itself is absolutely fantastic. There's nothing wrong with the product itself, the powder itself. Everything is fantastically dosed. There is nothing wrong. It is, in my opinion, I reckon in the top three in the UK because the other ones have illegal stuff in it that I can't put in mind. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it is up there. It is the best in terms of stim, focus, and pump. You're not going to find a better pre-workout. I know I sound a bit salesy, but it is what it is. It is my product. I made it myself. I fucking... I made it with my own blood, so I believe in it like it's my baby, okay? Speaking of, if you do want to order a tub, there are pre-orders still available. It's the second link in the description that is estimated to arrive in my apartment in October, mid-October. That means it's going to be at your door as soon as I can fulfill it and send it to you, which should be within a few days of me receiving it. Pre-orders get a special gift, which I'm not going to tell you because it's a special gift, it's a little surprise. And also, I'll sign the tubs. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but I've had a lot of people enjoy the signed tubs last pre-order and a lot of people are asking me to do it again. So, I will sign the tubs just as a little thank you to you and also give myself a lot more work. <laughs> that is the end of the video. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe because I want to make YouTube like a big thing for me. You know, I, I liked YouTube. I really, really like YouTube. I prefer it to TikTok. I prefer it to Instagram. It's just fucking amazing. So please subscribe. If you enjoy the video, please like the video. Call me stupid in the comments, whatever you want to do. Give me some advice if you want to. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.